Hello, my friends. Welcome once again to Faith Walk 101. We are so glad that you could join us. In 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 7, But we have this treasure in earthly vessels. Oh, we have a treasure in earthly vessels. That the excellence of the power may be of God and not of us. We possess a precious treasure and it is the divine light of the Holy Spirit. We have it and it's inside of us. The Holy Spirit is living inside of these frail bodies uh, that we esteem so much. We esteem our bodies so high that it seems like um, we uh, reward uh, ourselves, our bodies constantly with earthly treasures. But you know, these bodies are perishing. But what is inside of us is a precious treasure. It's a divine light. It's the Holy Spirit. It's God himself living inside of us. Isn't that a wonderful thing? Uh, it will never perish. It will live forever. So we want earthly rewards. We live for earthly re rewards, don't we? Everything about our life is about chasing something. Uh, at the end of our life, you know, we look to, forward to retirement and uh, having uh, our vacation home, our vacation place, and all these things that we say we want, all these earthly rewards, and no one is saying anything is wrong with that. But when that's your ultimate goal, it is these things are perishing. This earthly glitter has hypnotized our soul. There is a high price to pay for all these temporary perishing earthly rewards. In Mark uh, chapter 8, verse 36, it says, What does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? But we've been so mesmerized, hypnotized by these earthly things uh, that we're willing to trade uh, uh, salvation, our eternal life for the temporary pleasures, temporary trophies that we can hold up uh, that man esteems in this life. So it goes on to say um, in the Second Corinthians 4, 7 and uh, 8, uh, 7 through 9, it says, but um, we are troubled on every side. And we are. There's things happening all around us. If you're living in this world, then you are experiencing trouble all around us. And Paul says, we're, we're troubled on every side, but because of the power of the Holy Spirit that lives inside of us, this treasure that's in us, says we're not distressed, perplexed, or in despair, and uh, persecuted. All these things that's happening, uh, we're not troubled by them. And why not? Because we have a treasure inside of us. Uh, but don't ever forget, we are never forsaken by the one who lives inside of us. We're never forsaken. This treasure that has been put inside of us is so precious. It's God himself. And we will never be fors forsaken. So we're not um, cast down, but we have eternal life because of Jesus Christ. Uh, because of what he did on the cross. Because of that, we will not be destroyed. That's a wonderful thing. Because when you look all around us, everything that we have here on this earth, everything that we work for, the precious uh, treasures, uh, physical treasures, uh, these things can, they're going to perish. And a lot of times before they ever perish, they break, don't they? We wind up having to buy new things. They're only temporary. They're only temporary. But the, what we have inside of us will never be destroyed. Earthly rewards has not, cannot compare to the eternal salvation that we have in our Lord Jesus Christ. Continue to join us on Faith Walk 101. Thank you, my friends.